Good to go. Hello, everybody. This is Brady Ramsey with Over the Top Magic. If you're joining me today, I posted a video earlier about uh, what I was going to do today. And I decided I was going to do a couple coin tricks. <clears throat> and I decided to also go with the same theme of uh, from basics to from where I started to what I kind of know today. Um, and the tricks you, that you'll see today, I still use today. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Like some of the first tricks you ever learn, you still learn, you're still doing performing today. And it's, it's hard to believe that that would be the case, but some of the tricks just stick with you. And uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I had to change my shirt. I look like I'm, hello, I'm Johnny Cash. But I'm not. I look like I just came from a funeral. I had to turn my mat over because <laughs> the camera wasn't picking up anything. So <clears throat> I'm going to do something here with the coin. And uh, so keep in mind, a coin trick, these, these tricks I'm going to be doing are going to be what I do at kids' events, uh, corporate events, holiday parties, company parties. Any kind of event that you'd have. Uh, kids shows, this kind of trick would work right up front. Because usually they send all the kids to sit within two feet from you. So you're right there. So it's a close-up trick. Uh, during company parties and things like that, they usually hire me for what they call a cocktail hour. Sometimes they'll hire me for just a cocktail hour. Sometimes they'll hire me just for a show after dinner. And then sometimes they hire me for both. That way I can get the audience to like me, get to know me, and that way when I do my show, I don't have any trouble getting uh, volunteers to come up and help me because they're all comfortable with me and things like that. So, here is one of the tricks that I do for kids and adults, and it goes over great. So, what I do is I take one coin. In case you guys can't see that, that is a half dollar. Um, at kids shows, kids know exactly what this is. I ask an adult what this is, 90% of them have no idea. It's weird. <laughs> but uh, It's not an everyday coin, but yet kids know what it is and adults sometimes don't. But anyway, I'm going to take this coin and I'm going to place it in my hand. I hope you can see that. I'm going to close my hand and I'm going to snap and it's going to disappear. If I snap again, it comes back. And that's it. That's the whole trick. That's pretty good, right? <laughs> but I'm kidding. I, won't, I wouldn't do that to you. Hopefully coming over here is not taken out of you because I don't have the camera facing me like on uh, self-portrait mode. So anyway, I got the coin here. If I take the coin and I place it in my hand and I close it, if you were here in front of me, which I know you're not, I would ask you where is the coin? If you guys are answering right now, I don't know whether to laugh or feel sorry for you. Uh, I kind of feel like a door of the explorer. Where is the, where's the haystack? Oh, there it is. But anyway, the coin's in the hand. <laughs> uh, the next question I would ask, do you like heads or tails? And I'm going to assume that you guys said heads, because right now it's on heads. You probably can't see that. And if you pick tails, oh well. I'm going to put it on tails. Okay, this is going to be confusing. Okay, I'm going to close this hand and then the hand with the coin. Okay, if I move like this, that's the secret move. Okay, if you missed it, the coin jumps. Okay, I'll do it again. Okay, watch. I'll put it on heads this time just for you guys. I'm going to close this hand and then the hand with the coin. Now, where's the coin, right? You guys would think over here, but it didn't move. I didn't do the secret move this time, okay? Watch really close, I'll do it one more time. Close it, close it, and it jumps. Simple, right? I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put it in my pocket. Just like that, okay? Now the coin is in my pocket. If I give my a wave, the coin comes back, okay? Now that's one of the tricks that I do for kids, for adults, and it works great. If there's any magicians watching this, go ahead, give it a shot. You'll see it gets good laughs, everything like that. Uh, but what I did want to try 
is uh, the very first trick that I ever learned. And that was, uh, the magician obviously used more coins. I could only find three. One, two, three. And he did this on stage. I was, I don't know, seven, first, second grade, I don't know. And he did this on stage. He showed the people the coins. He didn't show them like I'm showing them. He actually dropped them on, on the, from a distance because he had a barrier. If I do that, I'm going to be chasing coins, so I'm not going to do that. So he has three coins. One, two, three. He took a coin, just like this, and he threw it in his hand. He took coin number two, and he threw it in his hand. He took coin number three, and he threw it in his hand. And then he called up the kid and said, hey kid, come here. Ask your mom if you can come up here. And he came up and said, let me borrow a coin. And the kid's like, I don't have a coin. And he's like, yeah, you do in your pocket, just check. And the kid reaches in his pocket like, no, I don't. He's like, that one will work just fine, right? He's like, actually, no, I won't. If you don't want me to have it, I won't use it. I want you to grab one out of the sky. So the kid's like, you're crazy, man. And he grabs a coin like this, and he puts it in the magician's hand. And the magician takes it, and he throws it. And he said, did you hear that? And the kid's like, yeah, you've got coins in your hand. He's like, yeah, how many coins do I have in my hand? He's like, uh, three. I'm eight years old. You're not going to get this. You're not going to pull this on me. So the guy's like, yeah, I do have coins. Let me show you. I've got one, two, three coins, plus the one that you let me borrow. So now I've got four coins. Thank you very much for letting me borrow your coin. And the kid just lost it. He's like, what? And I, I could just, I know I was thinking, I got to learn that trick. And this is literally the first coin trick I ever saw performed. And this was before... Uh, technology like uh, I kind of fall in between the magicians that had to learn from books I had to learn some stuff from books and then the internet happened and but I grew up without internet <laughs> and it wasn't until 2002 uh, when David Blaine kind of hit the scene that I was like oh let's get back into magic because until um, until then I got my very first magic kit when I was seven in first grade, second grade, first grade, whatever. And then um, there was a Marshall Brodian, I think I'm saying that right, magic kit. And I, I had, I did not care about any of the tricks at the moment because what I saw in that magic kit was a VHS tape. I was super excited. I was like, oh my God, is he going to teach me how to do the magic? Oh, that like changed the way I learn magic like seriously I'm a visual learner and books did not help me trying to figure out what they're talking about look at illustration number six and you're like it's not moving all I see is two pictures of hands like this and it doesn't tell me nothing okay and uh, one of the tricks in that magic kit stood out to me like um, <laughs> it was called the coin cap and that thing was like the most magical thing out of the whole thing, I thought. Because it used your hands in a little tiny plastic cap. If, the, if I had four quarters and if I still had the cap, I would do it. But he, <clears throat> that's not a Corona cough, by the way. Uh, that is, he took the, the cap and he puts it here and he would take the four coins and stack them in the coin cap. And the coin cap would keep them nice and stacked. And then he would close his hand, take the, cap, the, the, the coins out in the cap, go like this, and the cap would be empty and the coins would jump back. Oh my God, it was like the most amazing thing. I took that thing everywhere. Uh, but anyway, those, those are the coin tricks that I did for you today. Um, later on, I might do other stuff, uh, like something simple. If you take a coin like this and push it, uh, and just it goes through your hand, stuff like that. But later on, I'm going to start doing more advanced things. Next week, probably a card trick. I know you guys are excited about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to try to do the more basic stuff. And then as we go along, I'm, I may do something super more exciting to keep you wanting to watch more. Uh, but I'm going to do 
hopefully things in somewhat order as I learn them, and hopefully you'll follow along. So stay tuned, and uh, let's see, tomorrow, I think is the 31st, I will be on at the same time, 2 o'clock, and I will be doing uh, flowers, different kinds of flowers, how to utilize them, uh, different ways you can make them. I'm only going to, I may do maybe two or three flowers, maybe a rose, a daisy. Um, I think that's, yeah, let's just stick to two and I'll show you how you can change them up. So come tomorrow, join in at two o'clock and hopefully I'll see you then.